godfather of the Rothschild banking cartel, Mayor Amschel Rothschild said, give me control of a nation's money and I care not who makes the laws. In a recent Bloomberg article, The Feds Cure Risks Being Worse Than the Disease, Jim Bianco explains what is now happening with the Federal Reserve Bank in their response to the coronavirus. He writes, this scheme essentially merges the Fed and Treasury into one organization. So meet your new Fed chairman, Donald J. Trump. Did President Trump just nationalize the Federal Reserve Bank? On June 4th, 1963, President John F. Kennedy issued Executive Order 11110, which many believe was an effort to transfer power from the Federal Reserve Bank to the United States Department of the Treasury by replacing Federal Reserve notes with silver certificates thereby taking the power away from the international banking cartels. Less than six months later, President Kennedy was assassinated, and his move against the Fed was reversed. During the Civil War, President Abraham Lincoln printed $400 million worth of greenbacks, a debt-free, interest-free money, independent of international bank control. In response, the London Times wrote, that if that mischievous financial policy, which had its origin in the North American Republic, should become indurated down to a fixture, then that government will furnish its own money without cost. It will pay off debts and be without debt. It will have all the money necessary to carry on its commerce. It will become prosperous beyond precedent in the history of the civilized governments of the world. The brains and the wealth of all countries will go to North America. That government must be destroyed, or it will destroy every monarchy on the globe. The bankers were not willing to lose power, and the Bank of England went on to fund the Confederacy. Weeks prior to Lincoln's assassination, assassin John Wilkes Booth spent time in Montreal, known as the Confederate capital of Canada, and was found after the assassination with a banknote from Ontario Bank. Booth's personal manager was banker Joseph Siemens. After Lincoln was killed, power was restored to the international banking cartel. The National Economic Security and Recovery Act, known as NISARA, was a set of proposed economic reforms suggested during the 1990s by Harvey Francis Bernard. Bernard created the Nassara proposal during the late 1980s. He sent copies to members of Congress, but was ignored. In 2001, he established the Nassara Institute and published the second edition of his book in 2005, retitling it, Draining the Swamp, the Nassara Story, Monetary and Fiscal Policy Reform. The policies included replacing the income tax with a national sales tax abolishing compound interest on secured loans, and returning to a bimetallic currency, which he claimed would result in 0% inflation and a more stable economy. There is a big buzz on the internet that President Trump is implementing this plan. There is also speculation that this is part of a huge global economic reset, Gisara, to be decided at the International World Court of The Hague. If this is true, certainly this decision has been decided years ago and we are just now feeling the effects. The coronavirus scare is beginning to look like a false alarm, but the reaction is looking just like a false flag. And it seems that when we come out the other end of this, the world will be different. For Infowars.com, this is Greg Reese. news today. And I'm here to tell you, I don't need you to thank me and tell me I've done a good job. I've done nothing but my duty. I discovered a bunch of bloodthirsty scum coming after innocent people, and I've been fighting them for 13 years, and I'll never stop while I'm drawing breath. For 24 years, 
Alex Jones and InfoWars have been sounding the alarm for patriots worldwide, waking people up to the new world order, Bohemian Grove, the American deep state, the rise of communist China, the plan for global depopulation, and global elite pedophiles who prey off of our young. The enemy has done their best to destroy us, but because of your support, our fight continues. Join us, support the info war, and together we will slay the dragon. Keep fighting, Alex, you're the gladiator.